Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Trillionaire, and today we're going to be getting into a bit of market analysis. Uh, we do have a giveaway coming up on Friday for those of you who enjoy participating in the channel's discussions and whatnot. All right, so the first thing we're going to check out today is Bitcoin. So actually, before we even get into that, we're going to have a quick look at the market as a whole. And we see here that it looks like the uh, downtrend, the bear market, is continuing a little bit. Uh, we do have a bit of sideways movement, so I don't know that I can call it a bear market for certain. And when I'm speaking in terms of bear market, I'm speaking in terms of crypto bear markets. I understand that bear markets in stocks last much longer. Uh, we're talking in the time frame of cryptos, which uh, months are months in crypto are are years in stock so months to years sort of deal in a, a day is a week or a month or whatever you want to you want to call it because of the drastic uh, nature of the crypto the massive amount of volatility so on and so forth you get you catch the drift okay so uh, it does look like we have a bit of a uh, we're still continuing this little downtrend but i don't know that i'd say it's still going down this could be a little bit of sideways movement. What we're seeing here is a bit of consolidation, all right? On the bottom here, uh, this, is, this was the lowest point um, that we've seen since um, quite a while back. I'm not even gonna go back. You can check my other video out if you wanna see further back. But uh, this is the lowest point we've seen anywhere in the last month. That was January 17th. We're now about 12 days beyond that, about two weeks. And we've already seen the market rebound as high as 632 billion after it did peak out at roughly about 824 billion. So what does that mean? Um, I personally think that this means that the market is moving sideways and the longer that it moves sideways, the stronger it will become, the more confident in the investments um, that I currently have myself uh, I, I will be the more confident about my investments I, I will be so that means that more sideways movement means more strengthening of the market means more time for people to get in get their wits about them get used to the current price levels of different cryptocurrencies and uh, it gives people an opportunity to go ahead and accumulate this is a great time to begin accumulating again like i said in my last video dollar cost averaging great time to do that in this market because we're going to see some ups we're going to see some downs ideally we're not going to see it go back below this uh, 432 billion in which case we are certainly still in a uh, bear market for cryptocurrencies uh, but till then we'll see what's going on so let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin and today we see Bitcoin we've seen it down pretty low pretty low actually and uh, just after this folks we're gonna go ahead and get into um, some of the biggest gainers and losers I love I love to go over those um, and I know a lot of you are expecting ICO reviews and, and uh, detailed smaller coin reviews, so we might go ahead and check out a couple of these smaller cap cryptos that uh, seem a little interesting, making maybe making a little bit of noise in uh, biggest gainers and losers. We'll check that out in a moment. But for now, let's go ahead and get into this Bitcoin real quick. Uh, today, we did see a high of approximately 11,200 or something, if I'm not mistaken, and it did go to a low of 10,000, but here I am talking out of my ass. <laughs> Let's go ahead and not talk out of our ass and uh, go ahead and actually get some legitimate information here. So um, as far as the highs and the lows, we'll get back over to the chart here, get over to the seven day chart. That's a little bit too much. And get to the month chart, the three month chart. I like the three month chart. Okay, so for the three month chart, we see that uh, the peak was December 17th, quite a while ago in crypto terms, $333 billion of market cap. And Bitcoin has steadily been going down. Now, it does seem to have found potentially a little bit of sideways movement here but i still haven't seen it break that that downtrending that bear market and if and um 
that's uh, that's concerning if you're a Bitcoin maximalist or somebody who holds significant portions in Bitcoin. Fortunately, I personally am not because of my own beliefs. But if you are, I feel for you. And I personally wouldn't go ahead and sell because I fully believe that Bitcoin will be back much higher than what we've seen it at, practically 20,000. Here it is, 19,800 and some change. So 20,000 it did uh, reach up to for just a little moment in time. And then quickly, of course, uh, dashed right on down to about 13,000, giving everybody a little warning there. And then came back up, giving people hope at about 18,000. Everything's okay. And then we're right back down to that even lower 11,000 level. So Clearly a uh, bear market for Bitcoin still, but not so much, again, not so much for the entire crypto market as a whole. Let's reanalyze that. Let me just have another quick look at that real quick. So for me, the bear market trend, I think has been broken, all right? Because of this long sideways movement for altcoins, cryptocurrencies, um, we are seeing a lot of sideways movement. It's broken that downward trend, that bear market. We're seeing sideways movement. Again, very good for long-term growth of cryptocurrencies. Obviously, I'm very bullish on cryptocurrencies long-term. I think it's a great investment no matter what you buy, almost as long as it's quality uh, for the next one potentially even two years. Of course, I'm hesitant to do that because that'd be like saying that this X stock is going to be great in 10 to 20 years for reasons previously already stated in the video. Moving on, we're going to get to go over to uh, biggest gainers and losers, my absolute favorite to look at. And what do we see over here? Anything anything that stands out to us? We see gas over here. Look at that. Gas doing major work, 34.61%. And why do we see it doing that? Uh, it's at $70. I was checking this out this morning, and folks were saying gas is probably a great buy right now. Of course, I just went ahead and enjoyed my day. <laughs> Perhaps not the time to do so. I uh, I personally like to move um, in between neo and gas when the opportunity strikes, and of course I'm ready to make it make it happen. I'm not going to catch every single bus leaving the station, but I will catch some of them, and that's the name of the game. You don't need to catch all of them. That's okay. I I, I don't want to live my life staring at computer monitors and screens. You know what I mean? I'm not a day trader. I'm a swing trader. Uh, and and a holder for, for more major cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum. Now, speaking of major cryptocurrencies, let's go ahead and get over to, and we're going to be getting right back to biggest gainers and losers, but I just wanted to point this out since we we're talking about uh, gas and NEO, and NEO is back in the top 10. It did take a spell out of the, <clears throat> it did spin a spell out of the top 10, but now clearly we see it at top six, which is, astounding um absolutely astounding i'm very happy to see that 167 dollars folks i haven't seen it this high in some time i want to take a quick look at this reason we're looking at this is because we saw gas as uh, one of the biggest gainers today at 30 percent increase nuts all right why do you want to get gas well gas for whatever reason really likes to hold about a, the half half of the value of neo so anytime you see neo make big leaps and bounds and gas doesn't do it, maybe a good idea to go ahead and pull some NEO, sell it, not saying sell all of it. We can't predict the future. We don't know what's happening, but it may be a good idea to sell some of that NEO, maybe you know 20%, 50%, whatever you're comfortable with for gas and wait for that gas to go ahead and rise back to that you know half value of neo and then jump back into neo why do we jump back into neo because neo earns us gas when we stake and if you'd like more on that feel free to go ahead and leave a comment and i'd be happy to answer your questions in the comments folks i'm always happy to help out anybody who has questions about cryptocurrencies in general happy to give my opinion of course not financial advice just trying to help out where i can give you my perspective and a little bit of experience in the markets. So NEO looking great. We're seeing it right back at about its previous peak. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. And again, we're gonna be getting back to biggest gainers and losers in just a moment. It's maximum peak where it went up to, shot up to $192 and some change, I believe that is. Yeah, 192.05. Um, and it's approaching that again. 
Now, it went to that 192 for just a moment in time. I'm talking about like two hours or something, maybe not even that. I think I think it spiked up real quick and then came right on back down. So, I mean, if you want to take advantage of those opportunities, folks, you got to have your, your crypto on exchanges. If you see... Um, neo doing a big run like sort of like what it's doing right now if you notice this this looks similar to this right here okay and if you see see neo having a great day and everybody else is having a poor day which that's exactly what was going on right here um during this run up for neo um you may want to go ahead and move some neo to the exchange and go ahead and set some sell orders um for whatever you're comfortable selling, you know, you don't need to sell the farm. I never suggest that, but you know, sell, selling 10, 20% or something like that with the intent of buying back in after it drops low, just in case it goes bonkers and, and really starts spiking up. It's always healthy to take some profits so that you have some cash to buy back in after it drops out because inevitably anytime something spikes way up very quickly, specifically very quickly, and I'm talking quickly in terms of cryptocurrencies, not in terms of cryptocurrencies versus stock. We all know that it's very volatile versus stock. I'm talking in terms of cryptocurrencies. Whenever you see it spike up very quickly in a short span of time, I'm talking about a you know, a top five, top 10 cryptocurrency spiking up 30, 40% in a single day, which we've seen before. Inevitably, it comes down. And I'm not saying it comes right back down to where it went. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it comes back down. So, you know, Go ahead and selling 10, 20 percent at you know at uh, let's go ahead and look at some numbers here. Uh, the previous all-time high was 192, like we said before, um, 192. So set, setting a sell order for you know five, five, ten percent, and then setting another sell order for maybe another five, ten percent. Uh, about you know twenty percent or or thirty forty percent higher than that. Uh, that's that's too much. Maybe about ten uh, twenty percent higher than that. Twenty five percent higher than that uh, may not be such a bad idea. And of course you can you can go ahead and make very small incremental sells so that you can kind of just write it. You could put something every every one percent you're selling. You know you say you want to sell 20% every 1% you sell you know 1% of your cryptocurrencies and so on and so forth i'm sure you get the idea of what i'm saying here even though i may not be saying it exactly correctly uh you get the idea anyways we're going to go ahead and get back to the biggest gainers and losers i hope i'm not speaking too quickly for you folks if i am just let me know and i'll slow it down for the next video I understand not everybody watching these videos is uh, from America or a native English speaker, so it is nice for me to slow down what I'm saying so that it's easier for people to understand. Okay, so we saw NEO at, what was it, $167, and right now we're seeing gas at $70. So because typically it holds that you know half of the price, we could I mean, you can't really expect it to do this, but it would not be wild for gas to go to about eighty-five dollars, which would be one hundred six, which would be about one hundred seventy if it was half of Neo. Okay, so about eighty-five dollars for gas, seventy dollars, eighty-five dollars, fifteen dollars. You know, that's uh, that's a healthy gain right there for a very short-term trade, and this would be a short-term trade a day sort of trade now am i going to make this no i should have jumped on this a while ago before it had a 35 percent increase i don't suggest anybody jump on that but i'm just trying to give you guys keys and clues for little little things that you could potentially take advantage of if you're feeling like sitting by your computer and you know holding the mouse clicker and whatnot okay um Anything else we see here that's exciting? VSync. Let's go ahead and sort this by volume. I want to see what has the most volume. And Dent. I haven't heard of this before. We're going to check that out in just a moment. I wonder if it has anything to do with uh, like a dentist specific coin. Lightning Bitcoin. 
up 20% today with $2 million in volume at $300. Not really interested in that. Tesla coin. No, I'm not really seeing anything else. There's a lot of coin. I'm noticing a lot of coins that are spiking today have the word Bitcoin in them. We have eBitcoin here. Regal coin. Didn't Regal coin go down? Like disappear? Rec REC? Is that the same Regal coin? It's a dollar ninety-seven. It was like eighty dollars or something like that a long time ago. What is this? It's not the same one. All right. Okay. Anything else here? Da da da. No, not really. Okay, well, that's where we're going to end it for the market analysis. So I just wanted to also talk a, a little bit of discussion. Uh, I was having a discussion with somebody on Reddit earlier today, and you guys can always check out my comment history just by going to Reddit and going to the user Trillionaire, same as my YouTube channel. You're more than welcome to check it out. Um, and there was users saying that they believe that NEO is going to be more more expensive, have a greater market cap than Ethereum in the future. And my response to that was, how can you be so sure? And they say, because it's better technology, um, because they've they've already built in the advancements Ethereum is working towards. And, you know, to some respects, uh, I agree with that. Um, you know, I, I don't, I'm not saying to some respects I agree with NEO being more expensive than Ethereum in the future, nor do I really care. As you folks know, I hold both of them. But could I see NEO being greater than Ethereum in the future? It's way too soon to tell. I mean, you're talking about a cryptocurrency that's number six and another one that's number two. We're going to go ahead and get back to that. Uh, let me get back to the main page for you guys while I'm talking about this. All right, so you're talking about the number two cryptocurrency versus the number six cryptocurrency. And somebody was saying that they think that NEO, currently at $11 billion, is going to be a greater market cap than Ethereum at $112 billion. <coughs> it's a bold statement. NEO is about a tenth of Ethereum's current market value. NEO over the last year in 2017 was a big gainer and Ethereum was a big gainer. Ethereum was a phenomenal gainer. I'm talking major, major gainer. Uh, I don't I don't have my specific numbers and stuff for you in this video. I look forward to that in future videos. I'm just giving opinion in this one. But NEO had even more gains than Ethereum. So for somebody to go and make the claim that NEO is going to outpace Ethereum is not so wild when you take that into account. However, you still need to consider the fact that today, today, uh, what is today, January 28th, Ethereum has over half of the cryptocurrencies in the top 100 cryptocurrencies here on coinmarketcap.com, okay? Ethereum has over half of the current transaction volume of all of all transactions in cryptocurrencies period. Okay. These are two major major indicators of actual value when it comes to cryptocurrency, okay? People talk about intrinsic value and people talk about speculation and whatnot. And there's no doubt that throughout this entire market, there is massive amounts of speculation. I'm not going to argue that. I've said it myself several times. But there is intrinsic value in certain cryptocurrencies. And when I'm talking about intrinsic value, I'm talking about real tangible value. Okay. And not all cryptocurrencies. Uh, I can say that. I'm not going to drag any cryptocurrencies down here with uh, my beliefs. I, I don't believe in dragging anybody down. If you believe in such and such coin, good for you. Okay. But me personally, I believe in investing in coins that are providing value here today. And NEO is providing value here today. They have had DAP um, launches on their platform. Um, but they have nowhere near the scale. They don't even have a tenth of the current intrinsic value, in my opinion, of Ethereum. Does that mean that NEO is overvalued? 
My answer to that is no. I don't think NEO is overvalued because NEO today is allowing for people to stake where Ethereum is looking at providing staking. They were saying in 2018, but realistically, it's looking more like a year to maybe a year and a half from today. It's it's a very exciting proposition. I've heard folks saying that it would take about 100 Ethereum to actually stake. And if that's the case, that would you know, that would exclude quite a few people out, especially if we're talking about a year down the line where Ethereum could potentially be worth, I'm not going to say 10 times what it is today, but honestly, it could be worth 10 times what it is today, given the quality of Ethereum and the quality of Bitcoin, which is sitting above it. And, uh, you know, again, going back to their intrinsic value and what they're actually providing to the market. I'll leave the Ethereum Bitcoin talk for another day. You guys have heard my opinion on that. But anyways, with Ethereum and NEO, I think it's too soon to say that NEO is going to pass Ethereum in market cap anytime soon. Not, I wouldn't say that that's going to happen in the next year. And beyond that, I couldn't, couldn't tell you. If we see explosion in um, ICOs on NEO's platform and the use of the of neon gas, gas specifically, um, then you know we could see neo pass Ethereum in 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 market value. Absolutely. But anyways, folks, uh, this has been Trillionaire. I appreciate uh, you watching, um, and thanks for all the subscribers and whatnot. Still growing the channel, still growing the channel, and still happy to be making videos. I'm going to talk to you guys again on Wednesday, and uh, look forward. Look forward to seeing you then. Peace.